Welcome to another Guide 2 with me, Mr. Sealy P. The Merlot P417 Turbo Farmer. This is by ARM Team Modders, modding, um, and this is a new mod. And before anyone starts having a go at me, this is a new mod to consoles. I know this has been around for a while on PC. First time I saw this use by Dagwin, I think, on Sandy Bay. Absolutely love it. For those of you that watch my Let's Plays and stuff already, it comes in Sealy P Green. How cool is that? If you don't watch, you wouldn't necessarily know. But anyway, um, as I always do on my um, Guide twos, a little bit about Merlot. Um, the Merlot Company was started in 1964 by, and if I get this name wrong, I apologise, it's Amilcar or Amilcare, I'm not sure, Amilcare and Natalina Merlot. It's an Italian company and they started construction on their very first factory, which at the time was state of the art, cutting edge, way ahead of the curve. In 1966, when the factory was completed, they started making dumpers and off-road concrete mixers, which is quite an unusual concept. But this company has been pushing the boundaries of innovation right from the start. I've had a look online, been reading up about them. Fascinating stuff. Uh, in 1981, they bought out the very first telescopic handler. It was called the SM30. In 1987, they bought out the very first telescopic handler with side mounted engine which is what we're kind of used to now and low mounted hinged boom and that's in the world the first one in the world called the panoramic xs panoramic for the reason that the actual cab obviously you can see all the way around the earlier versions it was a very boxy kind of boxed in thing uh, in 1991 they bought out the Roto series of telehandlers and they were the first telescopic handlers with what's called a slewing boom, which meant the cab section here rotated a bit like a crane, um, allowing operators a 360 degree movement without having to reposition the telehandler. All innovative, all cutting edge, all way ahead of the curve. In 1996, the Turbo Farmer range came out, which is what this is. There were seven models in the range and it was designed specifically for agriculture. It was designed so that it could be used as a telehandler but also as kind of a tractor unit for hauling and towing and, and you know that kind of stuff really. Um, this company have gone on and on and on. I could go on. I mean from 1996 when this came out they've kept pushing there are so many different inv innovations on their website of all the stuff they've done up until you know very very recently and i would imagine they are still going strong but that's a little bit about merlot and we have the merlot p41 7 turbo farmer very very nice mod like i say it's not new it's not a new mod but it is new to consoles we'll have a look as i often do into the store and we are looking for telehandlers the merlot turbo farmer ninety thousand dollars pounds euros whatever it might be it's a 140 horsepower machine so when you think of it like that think of the price ninety thousand that's liebherr territory price wise less than the Leaper, so it's the cheapest one available in-game if you download it and install it. That's only got 122 horsepower. The Manitou is 107,000 and it's got 141, so it's in the Manitou area for horsepower, but it's 17,000 cheaper to buy. And it's not that far off, really, five horsepower off the JCB, which is 120, uh, 112,000 to buy. So, to be fair, very very reasonably priced I also had a look online and found there was one for sale second hand online for including VAT and this is no word of a lie £90,748 I think it was so that price is almost spot on for what they cost so hats off to ARM team good job on that so let's have a look around them 
all the usual things you would expect. You've got your telescopic boom, nice lighting setup, panoramic cab. I'm going to show a comparison between this and the Manitou in a in a in a minute. Um, this has a seven meter boom height. Um, a lot of the telescopic booms are around that anyway. This doesn't extend up the range of motion up this way. Doesn't go as far back as the Manitou. But it's a very compact, very nice little unit. And if you're looking for something a bit different in game, because you've got kind of used to, if you've done a few farms and you're using the same telehandlers all the time, it's nice to have something a little bit different. So, yeah, like I say, lots of nice details. The checker plate on the steps, all the various decals, door handles. We've got lights on the back, all the hitches you should need. I'm not sure how many different types of trailer this will hook up to, but it should. It should, fingers crossed, hook up to most. I know some of the telehandlers don't always manage to do that. So, let's jump in. And start it up. Now, it has got all-wheel steer. But this can be changed, as you can normally do with telehandlers in-game. If I go to here and do L3, I can go front-wheel steering, crab steering left, crab steering right or back to all-wheel steering. As far as I'm aware, it is illegal to drive on the roads with all-wheel steering. You have to have front-wheel steering like a normal vehicle would be. But I'm going to put that back. Not by pressing that one. There we go. Back to all-wheel steering. It has a very, very nice tight turning circle. Now, it looks very, very diddy, very, very small. Um, but it's pretty much the same sort of size as the Manitou, really. There's a few little subtle differences. Um, but we have got our lights, normal front lights, rear lights, and then the two little ones on the front on the boom, our working lights. We've also got the usual range of motion, up and down, and then our in and out for the boom. Now, something else I do like is to turn the lights off and the beacon off. Um, and let's get rid of that. What I do like on this, and it's a nice little touch, is that when you take the boom in and out, it's got a very smooth action on the boom, and fairly, fairly quick as well. But what I do like is this detailing here on the boom. The rest of the machine looks new and clean and shiny and all very lovely. There's a few little bits here, like kind of weathering around the exhaust and that kind of thing, which is nice. Again, very, very nice touches. But the inside of that boom, where that's scraping in and out, up and down the inside of that holder um, you get rusty bits and oil and all the stuff you can actually see that on this it looks like it's been used you know it goes in all very nice very new when it comes out you can see all of that kind of scratching and detailing it's brilliant absolutely fantastic so how does it compare looks like the engine needs a bit of work though a bit of a service it's chucking out a bit of black smoke but nothing to worry about this will hook up to all of the usual telehandler paraphernalia. So we've lined that up pretty much next to it, I think. So if we look at the actual axles, they're pretty much the same wheelbase. Track at the back, I think maybe the Manitou's a little bit wider. Maybe a little bit wider. Um, this one, the cab sits a little bit higher. But something I do like about this one, if you look inside, nice detailing pedals and carpet on the floor and seats got a nice design on it and is you know it's called panoramic and when you look around there's not really much to impede your view it's pretty good if we come back out and kind of whiz around and have a look here the Manitou which I have up until this point has been one of my favorite telehandlers look at the back of the Manitou there's a lot of bulky kind of bodywork here going on and the cab is kind of elongated and larger and I don't know the the, Ma the Merlot just just seems to edge it for me it's nice I do I really do like this cool so does it do what it says in the box of course it does all the telehandler attachments that you need will go on here but we'll hook it up to the Kotec fork with claws I like the fact as well they've got the collisions right. 
sometimes when you use this and you drop it backwards like this the actual fork goes into the front boom this is pretty much I mean apart from that I've got the claws there but it stops where it should stop which is nice now something I've been meaning to try for a while and I've probably left the Manitou in the way here normally you'll take a stack of four bales on the end of course you will why wouldn't you this is designed to take four bales but something I've been meaning to try and I might as well try it now this could go horribly wrong now but I will give it a go it's coming in sideways to two stacks so I can get straight on it would have been like say so much easier if we just moved the Manitou but that should be about right bring that down and level it we used to try this and I, it could go just it could just be an utter disaster but bring that in bring the forks in now that's now on eight bales not four will it lift it oh, it will so if you want to stack bales <laughs> and you don't want to be mucking around doing four at a time then do eight why not now I've got a funny feeling they're probably going to start shifting around in that fork. You won't get away with moving around very far with them like this, but you can do eight if you want to. I like this Merlot. I like it a lot. Put that down properly. You know, got that. There you go. So, I mean, that's pretty much it. It's a telehandler. It's got its boom. It does everything it's supposed to do. It's all very, very nice. And it will take the bucket attachments and all the various different forks and pallet tines and all the other things you need it to. Uh, it will hook up to, like I say, I haven't tried all the trailers, but it will tow a trailer. Like so. If you need it to. This is, like I say, specifically designed to be an agricultural piece of machinery. And it works incredibly well. Let's drop that down. So, ARM team, fantastic job. If you're in the market for a new telehandler, something a little bit different that comes in Mr. Silly P. Green, <laughs> um, then this is the telehandler for you. I like it. It's a cracking mod. I'm probably going to be changing this over. Maybe the next um, Let's Play I do, I'm going to use this rather than the standard fare. Um, I hope you've found this interesting, useful, helpful, informative, whatever you've got from it. I hope you've got something from it. Even if it's just a look at, in three dimensions, what the new Merlot telehandler looks like. If you have enjoyed it, give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you choose to do, thanks for watching.